Uh, let's look at this subject, the story of the devout Christian mother who's suing her son's school, claiming he was made to take part in an LGBT pride parade. Board again Christian Izzy Montague says the head teacher of the primary school in London said her son could not opt out of the event in June in 2018. Parents received a letter from the school inviting them to attend a pride march and celebrate the differences that make them and their family special. She contacted the school a week later and asked for her son to be excused from attendance as she didn't want him being involved in a public display of adherence to views which she did not accept. The mother claims the request was denied by the head teacher. But who should it be up to whether a kid attends a pride parade or any other LGBT education in that respect. Let's talk to Tim Dieb, Head of Public Policy at Christian Concern and Sam Dowler, journalist and LGBT activist. Afternoon to you both. Uh, Tim, surely this is one for the, um, the, the parents would be many people's response. Uh, and I guess as a Christian, you would side with the mother on this. Absolutely. I think schools have a duty to consult parents about um, sex education. Um, and to abide by their own religious and moral views on the subject. In this case, the school gave no warning, gave no information to the parents about it, said, um, and just you know, wanted to take the, the children on a pride march. It's a political event, a controversial political event. This is about indoctrination. It's about sexualization of very young children and uh, initiating them in sexual ideologies. The school had on its website a photograph of a year one pupil saying, I have a dream if boys could go to the same toilets as girls. Is that really something that we want um, pupils to be encouraging or, or is good for pupils, is good for girls, let alone boys, uh, to put them in the same toilets? And I think the parent was quite right to uh, respectfully say, please, could my child be withdrawn from this political activity? And the school should have just said, yes, uh, of course you can do that. You know, nobody should be obligated to engage with a political activity like this. There we are. Sam Dowler, uh, that's a, a, a very firm response from, from Tim there. How do you respond? Well, first of all, um, LGBTQ and, and Pride stuff is not political at all. It's about, um, it's about life. It's about our life. It's about kids' lives. It's about the fact that we want kids to feel um, accepted, loved, who, whoever they are, really. So I don't know what your guest is talking about when he's talking about indoctrination. I mean, the only indoctrination I know is from the Christian church making gay people feel like they are sinful or that they aren't in the, or, or, that, or that they're wrong in some way. So I'm pretty sure that um, the Bible itself taught people to forgive, to love one another, etc. So this just seems like more overreach from from you know from communities like this where you, where you basically want to um want to make people feel bad about themselves. And also I don't understand why this woman would want to sue um a, a school which is already strapped for cash anyway and you know this this it's the messy old subject and it's got nothing to do with politics at all tim nothing to do with politics and what why do you want to uh, ban people from being part of the flock i'm not banning anybody from being part of the flock at all um, you're quite right it's a gospel of love and forgiveness uh, for everybody but it's also a gospel of purity and living holiness and wanting to um, have you know, celebrate marriage and family and all those kind of things. And the LGBT ideology is actually an attack on family. It is a political movement. It is trying to, as we see today, even enforce its political agenda on the Church of England in terms of uh, what the definition of marriage is. And it is about sexualizing young children. And no child should have to engage in a political activity like a march. Of course, they what should. What about a family that's two, that's two, that's two, um, two mothers or two fathers? Is that not a real family then? It's a kind of, yes, of course it's a family, yes, but, you know, it's, you know... The, you know what, what, families... what's, a, what's the difference? What do you mean, what's the difference? You know, obviously... The, why, why is that, well, is that not a normal family, or is that, like, is that, like, um, some somehow sinful that it's two, that it's two loving male partners and a child, or two loving female partners and a child? And explain to me. Listen, research shows that, on average, it's better for children to be brought up by uh, male and female parents. That, on average, that is what's best for children. Surely you want what is best for children, on average, what the research best shows is best for what children. What is best for children is, is still loved and accepted. In schools for children and encourage, you know, and, you know, obviously, you accept people have different lifestyles. We love them, we respect them. 
you know, and, and we want to get on with them and, and enable people to get on with them. But, you know, there's a place for saying, actually, the best way is this way, and that's the best way. And we don't want to engage very young children in sexual ideologies. LGBT uh, is, is it isn't sexual. It isn't sexual. It isn't sexual, it isn't, it isn't sexual at all. That's ridi that is ridiculous. Like, tell, to saying to saying to people that it's okay to um, love another man, or it's okay, like, so-and-so has two daddies, so-and-so has two mummies, there is absolutely nothing wrong. It's not sexualizing children the slightest. No more than Cinderella is sexualizing children with a, or any other fairy story which ends ends in some sort of romance. The problem oh. is the problem is people people are leaving the church in droves and it is and it's actions like this that make us absolutely obvious why people are doing it young people young people are coming out as as LGBTQ more and more as as the years go by and honestly like you're losing you're losing young people and you're just going to end up with a bunch of old fogies that are, are going to die off and so will the church. Okay, so churches that actually teach uh, traditional values on this are the ones that are growing and churches that are adopting LGBT are the ones that are declining. So that point is clear that actually the churches that actually stick firm to uh, traditional values on this are the ones that are actually growing and reaching people and people are keen to be countercultural in this way and to actually go for purity and sexual morality in contrast to our culture. Clearly there's a sexual agenda here. Clearly say, I have a dream of boys going to the same toilets as girls. That's obviously a sexual thing. Who's saying that is good for pupils? Are you saying that is good for pupils to say, I want boys to go into to, to female girls? I was going to the toilet, I was going to the toilet, a sexual thing at all. Well, how is right. going to the toilet so, so, right so you agree then with the objections to what's being taught in this school and that the parents have a right to want to take their child out of these kind of activities and out of this kind of ideology which is political and is sexualizing and it should be stopped no what do you mean it should be stopped you have to you have to get get in with the 20 the 21st century like you, the, your, you just agree with me you just agree with me what you're saying is so what you're saying is so, saying is so backward and honestly i'm glad you're sitting down because the church does not have a leg to stand on when it comes when it comes to protecting children for goodness sakes it, like i mean i think i think we all know i'd, I'd rather i'd rather leave my kids with a drag queen with them with a priest thanks very much looking after them because you because you know you have a terrible reputation and it's rubbish like this that obviously that keeps that keeps people but, but Sa church. Sam, bro broadly <laughs> speaking, is it okay though, if you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim or a Jew and you have devout religious beliefs and you don't believe that within the Venn diagram the school has any place in any kind of, whether it's sexual education in whatever kind, whether it's an LGBT plus pride march, whatever, do you not as the parent have the right to say, I don't want this to be part of my kids' education. I can deal with that at home. This is not a matter for the classroom. Look, I think if, um, like, if a parent wants to take any child out of a school, that is that is that is their prerogative, and I don't think any, you know, no, you, no, no child should be forced to go to any lessons that they don't want to or their parents don't want them to. But I just think it's 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 archaic. And to, there was there was a case that was in Wales only only like last month, I think it was, where the judge threw threw out a whole like where they were trying to say that it was an indoctrination of LGBTQ lifestyles, and the judge and the judge said there was it was nonsense. So I mean, I'm very interested to see how this case goes because I don't whether it's more to do with does uh, a parent have the right to take their child out of school or you know i very much doubt that he was forced to go to a pride parade or and 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 also you say it was sprung on her as well you but you also send the same sentence that that there was a letter went around and saying that it was going to happen so i don't see how that's no, 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 you missed me that I, it actually appeared in the media and that was what actually alerted the parents to what was happening uh yeah i'm glad you agree with me sam that parents should have the right to withdraw their children from this kind of education that is actually what the case is about they were given no warning they just they didn't say the school shouldn't do this they said please can our child not do it please can our own child please be excused from this kind of thing and they should have been allowed to do it instead the school said falsely that they had a legal requirement to do it and and said that they must do it and the school and that the child be disciplined if they didn't participate in this march and i think that you obviously agree with me that's completely unreasonable behavior by the school and it's quite right for it to be challenged in court now final word sam well, I'll, I'll be interested to see how the um, how the case progresses. Obviously, if it's a case of um, you know like overreach by the school, or um, you know saying that like a kid had to do it, but I, 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 doubt, I doubt that's the case. But I'm very I'm very interested into how it will um, how it will turn out. Indeed, Sam Dowler, thank you, journalist, LGBT plus activist, and Tim Dieppe, head of public policy at Christian Concern.